Hey yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Hey Z back in the game again. I hope you all doing great today people. Today episode 2 a full Nota playthrough in a single game. Is it possible? I don't know myself. We are about to know the answer soon. Last time we went there and made all 7 stages. If you missed the video, go check it out before this one. I'll give you a sec. Yeah, you can you can take your time, but 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 come back though. And we are now located at the last holy mountain ready to face what's up next. And there is going to be a basic one tutorial in this video. Got you, my man. So please be sure to be liking on the video. Subscribe for more in the future. And let's get right on into it. So right here, right now, I could have get the laser gun. But they didn't have a laser yet. But that first one on I don't know which holy mountain. I could have just went and killed the boss. And just end the game right here. But that's not my objective right now. We have to go back up at the surface. Actually, I'll just take the heart for safety. And look at my handmade rocket launcher. Um. Yeah, so I just want I put a bunch of rockets in and I'm gonna get out from here outside the holy mountain I think it's the best way to know for us where to head out next So first of all, it really depends on what stuff you have to get out of here I have three black holes and these can go through everything But I only have three charges before I have to use a spell refresher to get other three charges Right now, I only have one black hole with three charges So I'm not gonna use them yet I'm gonna use them when I really need them. But for now, I will speed up a little bit because it starts to get long. So, see you guys at the top. Okay, so we are finally here after all these years. And now, we are about to see where we can go and head on next. So, I can go to this portal right here, hidden into the lava. Making it through towers, which is basic noita, but shrink, and enemies are randomizing it. The walls constantly do damage to you, so you don't want to go there yet, unless you're a god. Yeah, I don't have any perks. If maybe first stage you get the, 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 the perk lottery. First stage you get a perk lottery and you get any. So what perk lottery does is that you have 50% chance of when taking a perk that the other ones around it will not disappear. So it can be super broken if you're lucky. Unless you check at the website of cracksy.dev slash noita slash interrogation equal. Here you can find everything you need about the seed on whatever RNG there is, fungal shift. If you want to go far in a run, I suggest this website. On every single holy mountain. Okay, now I will go to the towers. But at the top of the tower, you get rewarded with something very useful. Stay tuned for that. This little triangle thing, you gotta throw three eggs at it. It will summon a boss that I will show you guys in another video. You can't risk it all. Have the possibility to only dig through this and you get access to the spider cave. Go back through the jungle because the vault is actually disgusting. disgusting i am not very familiar with this path so i'm just gonna go the classic way go up and i hope i don't get hit much it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up whoa 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 what's going on what's going on no 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 okay i'm gonna shoot i'm gonna shoot like this i'm gonna shoot like this i'm gonna shoot like this it's fine it's fine don't worry guys it's don't worry don't worry okay okay i don't okay no enemies no enemies right now it's fine it's fine don't worry i need to come back to that shield i saw earlier even though it costs five thousand eight hundred i'm gonna buy it anyway because i mean it's safety so this was a tough ride but we eventually made it and i could have come me a shield and the projectile acceleration but hey i know a lot of you guys noiting around are wondering how i even build these ones that do over nine thousand. and i played so much of this game once you understand the basics you will start understanding things in this game that are beyond broken it's insane so let's say from a shard from one to ten is if like at ten you're like 10 million trillion iq and at one you are basically the dummy in the holy mountains that can't do anything but suffer <laughs> So let's say I want to teach you guys my perspective about how to build this. I say I'm on a strong four. 
But that's all you need to know because everything about it are stuff even the devs never expected to be executable. Like this wand right here that can literally... For the purpose of major spoilers, let me talk about what we were supposed to talk about. Wands are like guns, basically. Follow me on that. Hold up. Inside the gun, there is a clip with the amount of stuff you can put in it. The clip maximum size is 26. And it will always read the first thing beginning from the left until it reached the end, which is the last square. The amount of time for it to read between each square is the cast delay. So basically, this wand will send this spell 0.17 seconds after casting this one right here. The recharge time is basically how much time it will take you to come back at the beginning once you finish reading all of the square. So let's say I put that there. It will read it like this. So because the clip is only filled up with this, it will only throw this before recharging. But if you put more spells in it, it will separate them one by one with a 017 cast delay. And at the end, once it reads every single spell from left to right, add a 060 seconds recharge time. Warning, warning, Noita is not a easy game for those who think this is a oh i'm gonna go uh, play noita for just for fun <laughs> no it's not i've suffered through generation through families through sacrifices through war through carrying people that cannot defend from conquering the universe um yeah noita is a hard game so for those who want to take this casually here, what we used to say in Quebec, they call it. So you have to be careful about how you manipulate your build with this. And the spread is how accurate your spell will be. At zero, the projectile will aim exactly where you are aiming. Before talking about the mana max and the mana recharge speed, let's talk about the different variety and spells in the game. It's crazy, honestly, everything you can do with all of this. But it is not enough! I need more! Bags. It's what I used to call those, uh, because it basically works the same. Let's say I put a bag before two bolts like this, okay? It counts as a multicast, so this will make the wand cast two spells before reloading. Without counting any cast delay, because these are considered group. So let's say you're having the quadruple caster. I can put four spells that will cast at the same time. If I put five of them, it will throw four, then cast delay, then the fifth one. The most broken ultimate omega game destroying spell that makes Noita the hell out of uh, what it is is add trigger once a projectile is attached with a little sun on the top of the spell it means after you enter collision with something it will then cast what is after it in the instant and this is whatever you want you choose so let's say i put the add trigger followed by a projectile here now look at the add trigger triggering the bag of two projectile now y'all gonna ask me Hazy, hazy! Do they stack up? Yes. yes, they definitely stack up. If you put a bag of an ad trigger after a trigger, you can trigger the ad trigger of the second ad trigger for the first ad trigger trigger. But you get the point. So let's say I have these super basic spells. Well, those organized like this will instantly reveal everything after this exact spell. So the damage can be pretty nasty. And now the next basic things about the basic noiting basic is knowing your spells. Some spells will be found in the wild and in shops, chests, and some are unlocked after doing quests. Stay tuned for that. Spells have attributes like let's say the damage plus, a projectile modifier, it increases the amount of damage you do on the next projectile, it will add 0.08 seconds to your cast delay, and a bunch of other characteristics that I haven't explained yet, 
So I'm gonna go to the next thing. Then we're gonna come back on the subject. If it says shuffle yes on the wand, trash. When it says that it is indeed shuffle, it's because it will start reading everything randomly. It doesn't matter how or where you put your spells, it's gonna gamble the squares. Have you realized that sometimes your wands cannot cast everything like you just want? Even with the good formation? And does this little blue ball on top right of your screen starts clocking off like that when you shoot? Well, here I introduce you into mana. Mana is basically the regeneration mechanic of the game. And it functions like this. Here is an example of a wand with 204 mana and 209 mana recharge speed. The damage plus that I explained it earlier costs 5 mana to be able to be casted by this wand or else you will die. Or else you will be warned with a sign like this. So you have the capacity of putting any spells as you want until mana recharge speed comes into the game. The mana recharge speed is a flat number that will indicate how fast is your one regeneration. Because if it's at zero, well, you can't shoot. So you always want the highest mana capacity and mana recharge speed. And the higher the mana recharge speed is, the faster you can spray up big spells. Combine all of what I just explained to you today and you will get it. Oh gosh, a spider! Oh my gosh, what the hell? Bro, what the hell? There's a goddamn spider on my freaking desk, bro. Congratulations, soldier. You have now captured objective alpha. Yo, hold on, hold on. I ain't no spider on my desk, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Enemy airstrike, get the cover! Garm, skid Adam. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself. And that's how I came back up top, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta be the genius! The skills of coming back up like I just did is just having knowledge. And now, we start to come closer and closer to the Lord. And today I've teach you the basic of how to create your own one. So you can even create your own inventions with everything that you can ever find. When you know how to read spells, you greatly reduce the amount of noise of your game. And here we are right now, at the end of the video, but fear not! On next episode, we will confront dark mages, dragons, and much much more, so we can complete our final destination. Don't forget to catch me live on Twitch for live reaction in game. As always, guys, it was your boy Hazy. Catching you guys later. Peace out.